welcome to another video a walk on the wild side and i am not in blackpool in this video i am just down the road here in st Anne's. just check out this beach at the beach here oh my goodness it is vast we are on the ribble estuary right here a bit of a weird time to be filming actually it's just after it was just around about sunset it's all quiet there's nobody well there's, there are some people on the beach you know you can almost walk from here right over to southport right in the far distance i can see southport over there and right over there i can see a massive oil rig and just out here at the end of the pier i'll show you properly in a minute but there's the old jetty there yeah that's been the subject of quite a few photographs that i've been taking over the years this is the pier behind me what i want to do in this video is we'll take a little look around st Anne's, around the square because i haven't done a video in st Anne's for ages so I thought we'll take a little look around. The only problem is, I think it's uh, it's going to start raining. And not only that, it's going to get pretty dark. So uh, I better get on with it. Well, I tell you what, the wind is coming straight at us now. We're looking over there towards Southport. Oh, it's like, you know what? It's like being in the desert. Can you see that massive big jack, jack, jack up rig? Is it a jack up rig? Like a gas rig or something. And there's the old steamer jetty there. Check it out. This is the pier. Oh, I've come down here so many times to take pictures. So we'll head up onto the where the front of the pier is we'll have a look at that and then we'll uh, we'll head through St Anne's Square and uh, we'll see what it's like it's been a while since I've been here we'll see how it's changed if anything's changed that is I think I'm going to have to get my brolly because the rain's starting to come down I'm just making my way up this bit of a like a non-slip map thing here to the front of the pier We'll have a little look around here. So this is St Anne's, just down the road from Blackpool. A little bit more, um, well, uh, how can I say it? Quieter, certainly. Well, it's certainly quiet at the moment. Look at that. Not quite as um, in your face as Blackpool. Is sent out. Just over there, they're the offices of Filed Borough Council. And Filed Borough Council look after St Anne's, Ansdell, Fairhaven, and Lytham. So there's like four different towns that make up Lytham St Anne's. Just over there, you see that big block of flats over there? They're called the Majestics. And that's where the old Majestic Hotel used to be, yeah? I don't remember it, it's before my time, but there are pictures of it, we'll walk past it a bit later, there's some nice gate, gate posts going in, but yeah, that's where the old Majestic Hotel used to be. Let's have a look at the front of the pier, now the back of the pier, you might have noticed this was a little bit uh, fenced off, you can't walk under some parts of the pier. Unfortunately, it needs some work doing on it, but the front of the pier does look quite grand, doesn't it? I mean, look at this here, look. It's got a clock on it, but the clock's wrong. Uh, so it could do with a, it could do with a bit of work on it, I suppose, but it's got a very nice brick to it. Let's have a little look. A very nice entrance here. Amusements in here, of course. I'm not sure if the back of the pier is open. Um, I could find out, but uh, I hope we can see that. We're looking into the amusements there. Well, there you go. A little bit smaller than, than Blackpool's piers. But the good thing about this is when you look straight out now, we are now looking straight down St Anne's Road there. Can you see? And that goes right through the square.
so that was a little look at St Anne's Pier. Now, I want to show you something. Just next door, there's a little park next door, and there's a statue in there of a very famous comedian. Um, Les Dawson, yeah. He used to live not far from here. He used to live in Ansdell. I used to work for someone on the street where he lives, where he used to live, actually, yeah. So he's got a statue, and it's just through here. So let's go and have a look, shall we? It's just the other side of this... Uh, shelter here so we're just coming around the other side of the shelter we'll take a look at the statue in a minute but if you look in here we've got pictures of uh, people who've um, it says that Amanda Barry she was on Coronation Street wasn't she she spent time here in Lytham the kid was aboard at the college. There he is there, there's the man. Les Dawson. 1931 until 1993. Wow, that all that time ago when he when he died. Bobby Ball as well. There's another one we've lost. Another local comedian. And he's got a statue, but his statue is actually in Lytham. So we'll take a look at that another time. But we'll just, just have a little look at it before we. Oh, here we've got some more. Al Reid, I don't know him. Just over here we've got George Formby. He lived just down the road on the promenade. I did do a video about George Formby's house. Joseph Locke. Just over there, Jenny Eclair. She's local. Now then, check it out. Here we go. This is him. This is the man here, Les Dawson. And the rain is coming down now, so I'm going to have to get my umbrella. But let's have a look at Les Dawson, shall we? There you go. How do you really remember him from Blackity Blank? You get your Blackity Blank checkbook and pen. So who was the sculptor? The sculptor was Graham Ibison. I think I've heard his name before. Yeah, there you go, Les Dawson. So that's Les Dawson there, in the park. It's called Peace and Happiness Garden. And I'll just show you around on the promenade. So this is looking towards the north. Up there we've got, we've got some hotels and uh, Quite a few flats and big houses, yeah, some massive houses. We've got the uh, the Glen Dower Hotel down there. That's the best Western hotel. There are some pretty big hotels in St Anne's, and uh, and this used to be one of them. It was the Majestic, as I mentioned before. I'll tell you what, I'm fighting against this this wind at the moment. I'm struggling here. I've got my umbrella up, and the rain is coming down pretty hard now. You know what? I can't believe just how quickly the weather's turned. Just after I started filming it started chucking it down, but I'm going to carry on. I've started so I'll finish. I'll just quickly show you the other way. So this is looking towards the south. We've got some pretty big hotels this way. We've got the St Ives Hotel, we've got the Inn on the Prawn, the Dalmini Hotel, and if you go a bit further down you get to the Grand Hotel. Yep. Oh, I'll tell you what. The wind seems to have gone up as well. So we'll make our way past Fileborough Council. Sorry if my umbrella gets into the shot. I like the wall. Look at the wall. That's fancy, isn't it? You get quite a bit of that in St Towns. Pebbles. Pebbled walls. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? And if you look over the road, you can see that those gateways there, look. Look at that. Doesn't it look fancy? A fancy gateway there. To what used to be the majestic hotel kind of looked a bit like the imperial from what i've seen of it in pictures let's have a little look in here shall we how much does it cost to park here you know what it's not too bad one to two hours two pound thirty i don't think that's too bad really is it? it's cheaper than blackpool what do you think and what do you think to the uh, Town Hall? Council? What do you call it? 
it says there filed it says filed council i think i said filed borough council didn't i but it just says filed it's got the windmill there from from Lytham. so yeah what do you think how does it compare to to blackpool's town hall i don't think it's quite as fancy but it's uh, it's not bad got some uh, flats next door i bet they're not cheap if you want to buy one of those flats they are favored by the older generation these i bet they're not cheap in there either are they they're majestic it's a big block just down here we've got the lord derby pub on the corner that's a very very busy pub in in the summer they've got a kids play area they sometimes have a big slide the lord derby I think it's it's a Green King, isn't it? Yeah, a Green King. That's a pretty big pub, that. Yeah. There you go. Let's have a little look in here. So let's have a look at a little nosy, shall we? At the garden. Look. Oh. Hey. They look after the gardens around here, you know. Look at this. Look at that hedge. Wow. That is quite fancy. That is. Look at the lawn. That's quite formal, isn't it? What do you think? I tell you what. That is pretty smart. So we're now at the junction. You can see the Lord Derby there on the left. And this is Clifton Drive. And that'll take you all the way to Blackpool. We've got a bus there, the number 11A. That's going to Lytham. Oh, my alarm's going off. Sorry about that. Pretty busy. I'm filming this at about half past six in the evening, so the sun's just about to go down at the moment, so let's let's make our way up here, shall we? It's starting to get pretty wet now, isn't it? That way towards Lytham. And it gets pretty swanky the more you go down that way, yeah. Lytham well yeah Lytham is pretty swanky there's an M&S food hall just over there a bit of a shopping precinct just over here we've got a fish and chip restaurant called Seafarers I've actually got some nice gardens here in uh, St Anne's Square as well what do you think a bit more than Blackpool what do you reckon we've even got these there uh, well they're not palm trees they're called Cordy lines. They look a bit like palm trees, don't they? So this is St Anne's Square, folks. In the rain. Didn't there used to be a subway on the corner? I think there used to be a subway, didn't it? I like that window, the way that window speaks round there. Yeah, it's fancy, isn't it? Oh, they've got a pub there called the Pier Inn, and it's a Joseph Holt pub by the look of it. Well, at least it's got that on the thing outside, on the, on there. Ah, interesting. Nice little mosaic on the, the ground there. As I look over the road, it's not quite so posh. We've got a B&M over there. A B&M. Yeah, so they've got quite a lot of garden areas here. Quite a lot of charity shops as well Bernardo's the Salvation Army another mosaic look at that there look the Edinburgh woolen mill you can park in here as well plenty of parking right where the shops are look at that So this is St Anne's Square. It's quite a while since I've, I've been here quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, this place is banging. What is it? It's called The Office, I think. Can you hear that music? Oh, I'll tell you what, that looks swanky in there, you know. Look at that there. As we look back that way, it's actually quite bright over there. 
the sun must be just touching the horizon now as I speak. But we'll carry on. I like these lights. What do you think to these lights here? The square. We're just going past this bank here, the Nat West. We've got loads of banks. But of course, loads of buildings that used to be banks, of course. That one over the road there, can you see? This is Orchard Road. Now that building over there is a private private medical practice. Well, that obviously used to be a bank, didn't it? I don't know which one. But this is Orchard Road. Let's have a little look down here. Did there used to be an orchard down there? You can see an estate agent. There's a shop there which used to be a bike shop. It's called Apple Bikes and that's no longer going anymore. I'll tell you what, let's go and have a quick look on the other side, shall we? I think it's a little bit dearer to park here, you know. What do you reckon? There you go. Still not bad, really. We'll head over the crossing. What do you think to the, the pretty flowers? What do you think? They're still in bloom, some of them. We've got a Tesco Express over here. There's a Tesco Express. You're probably likely to find the beer monsters around here, aren't you? <laughs> St Anne's beer monsters. Did they have beer monsters in St Anne's? Well, probably. They're probably a bit harder to find than they are in Blackpool, though. <laughs> Can you see that up there? Bank. Got some Roman writing on it as well, so I can't really tell what bank it used to be. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. But it's a grand building and uh, it continues this way. And over here we've got well, that was that was probably a different bank, but now as you can see, it's a bet thread <laughs> on, the, on the ground floor. It's pretty grand though, isn't it? The shop fronts are really posh here, aren't they? Look at that there, look. Very traditional. Boots opticians. We've got another grand building just over here. I think it used to be a church. Did it used to be a church, this one? Let's have a look at this one here. Number 15. It's now a, a pub. Look at that there. Isn't that fancy? Look at that. Got a bit of stained glass going on there. There you go, check it out. Seems to be quite a few people going in there, seems quite popular. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna head across the road because I wanna show you something just over there. J.R. Taylor's and uh, it was a very, very popular and it's now it closed down years ago and it's now been turned into flat. So let's have a little look, shall we? So I'll head across this other zebra crossing. We've even got a WH Smith here in St. Anne's, a WH Smith. Yeah, we don't have one of them in Blackpool, do we? But they have one in Cleveland as well. Yeah, anyway, we've got more gardens on this side. Look at that box there. Nicely trimmed box. Oh, look at that restaurant there. Allegria, Italian. That looks rather swanky, doesn't it? Clothing shop on the corner, is that? Salt Rock. Now then, this is, this is quite interesting because the last time I was here, they were just starting on this place and this is where they're up to. I'll tell you what, it's not going to be cheap to buy an apartment in this block, is it? This is a pretty big construction project. The rain seems to have uh, lightened up a bit so we'll just take a look down the side look at that there look 
looks like they've extended it quite a bit, doesn't it? I'm just heading down this road. I want to quickly show you down here because just down here we've got Ashton Gardens. I'll show you them in a minute. Let's have a look at the other side. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what, I can really hear that wind blowing through the, the trees. It really feels like autumn now, you know. But uh, straight ahead is Ashton Gardens. I'm not going to go in. I just want to show you the, the entrance there on this side. I'm not sure if I know the name of this road, actually. But that's the entrance to Ashton Gardens. Pretty swanky, isn't it? Welcome to Ashton Gardens, St George's Road. There's a, that sign could do with a blooming good clean. Look at that! Look how dirty that is. Come on, File Borough Council. Clean that sign. My goodness. Let's have a sneaky look, shall we? If that's the bowling green or one of the bowling greens. Not sure if they've got another one. Oh, I'll tell you what. Those begonias look quite nice, don't they? Anyway, I just want to quickly show you something over here. We've got this very grand building here, look. And that's like a sort of, it's an emporium. St George's Emporium takes up part of this. And I just quickly want to show you down here. There's another building there on the end there before we get to that multi-storey parking lot. Sorry, just have to keep saying that. That's Gerard's auction rooms. If you've ever watched Bargain Hunt <coughs> or Antiques, um, what they call it, Antique Road, you know where they drive the cars around and they buy stuff from the auction places. You might have seen that on one of them. And next door to that, we've got the Jai Lounge. Coffee bar and kitchen, looks quite swanky. Uh, just up there at the end of the road is the Sainsbury's. That's the, uh, the main supermarket in St. Anne's, but anyway, we'll head back to the square now. Oh, the rain's, rain's stopped. Herbs and acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine. Interesting, shoulder and knee pain, neck and back pain, tennis elbow, migraine, they sort it all out there. Oh, does it work? Well, the bedding plants are getting a bit of a watering. Nice little planters here. I'm not really sure what these uh, cone-shaped things are. They've got a couple of them. They've got one there. And uh, they've got one on the other side. So this road where they're doing all the work is called Garden Street. I just want to give you a quick sweep of the, the southern side of St Anne's Square. And uh, we'll carry on this way. That's where they're doing all the work. And look at this building here. Well, that looks like it was an old bank as well. It's got a clock tower on it there. I wonder what bank that was. We've got some more fancy gardens here. Check these out. Look at these pots here. Check it out. Well, I didn't think I'd meet any beer monsters in St. Anne's, but there is a strange guy back there who's acting a bit weird outside a betting shop, so... I'll avoid him. Uh, we're almost at the top end of the square and the rain has just started to come back down again, yeah. So that's looking back from where I just came from and as you can see we've got another grand building there where the boots is. And now we've got this new, oh I'll tell you what the wind, <laughs> I'm battling to hold on to my umbrella here, all this is new so you can tell this was all built well, looks like it was built in the 80s or something this. What do you reckon? We're almost at the top end of the square. We've still got the gardens, I'll tell you what. File Council, they've got a lot of gardens to look after and you have to say, 
They do do a pretty good job, don't they? Look at this. They keep the hedges in order. So what's we got? What have we got here? Well, we've got a another Green King pub, and this one is the townhouse. That looks massive. That look at that. Look at the size of that pub there. It's massive, that isn't it? I do quite like Green King pubs, but as you know, I'm a bit of a Weatherspoons fanboy. And do they have a Weatherspoons here in St Anne's? Well, yes they do, and I'm going to head there right now. So I'm just going to head to the Spoons now. I'll just show you that. That's the bridge, or it's called the Crescent. It goes up over the railway line, heads towards the east. Now just down here is where the railway station is. I won't go there in this video, but it's just down there. And I'll just give you a quick look round on this side. As the rain comes down again here in St Anne's. Look at it, proper wet now, isn't it? I'll tell you what, if the sun was to pop out at the last minute, it would look pretty awesome. I don't think it's going to happen now, but I'm going to head across. I'll tell you what, they've got plenty of uh, zebra crossings. That looks like it was a bank, another one there. They're always on the corner, aren't they? Banks, these big banks. Look at that there, what is that? It's granite, isn't it? Polished granite there to let. Probably end up being some swanky restaurant or something, won't it? What road's this? This road is Park Road. So this road is Park Road. Ooh. I'm battling with my umbrella. I'm going to head down here to Wood Street. Wood Street runs parallel to the square down here. We've got some swanky places here. Look. Look at this. The Ducks Nuts. Live music every Sunday from 4 pm. Interesting. Hiya. Right. Oh, I just want to quickly show you over the road. Look at that building there, look. They've got some swanky buildings here in St Anne's, haven't they? Look at that one. Wow. Hot mark uniforms, I bet it's not cheap in there, is it? A school uniform for your private school. Like uh, King Edward and Queen Mary. King Edward, it merged with Arnold. The private school here was King Edward and Queen Mary's Boys and Girls School, and they merged with Arnold's School of Blackpool to create. What's it called now? AKS, Arnold King Edward School. Right. So, looking over there, I am battling with the umbrella a bit. I think we've got some uh, council offices over there. Um, just around this way, we have got up there, got some more shops, some more quite fancy restaurants, a little precinct there where you can park. So just down this way, this is where the weather spoons is. Yeah, we've got the weather spoons down here. More gardens, isn't it fancy? Here in St Anne's, just over there we've got, um, it was called the fire pit. Um, don't, it's not open now. Quite a fancy, quite a fancy restaurant now. Um, can't remember what it used to be called. It was called something else. Uh, this, there's another one next to it. That one's called the Orchard Inn. The one that's the one that's open. But uh, this is the Weatherspoons. It's called the Troll Boat Inn, and it's here on Wood Street in St Anne's. And uh, I'm going to head right in. Yeah. So this is the Weatherspoons here in St Anne's. They've got plenty of seating outdoors. I tell you what, this is massive. This, but they all are, aren't they? A lot of the weather spins are absolutely huge, so uh, let's head in here, shall we? I want to get something to eat, I'm hungry. I've not had my tea yet. Oh, check it out, they've just turned the lights on. I thought I'd show you this before I head inside. 
Doesn't it look fancy? But there's nobody sitting out tonight. Anyway, let's head in here, shall we? Check it out. I've just been sent out. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Go and sit down. Oh. Right. Right, okay. Well I found a quiet corner and uh, I'm pretty hungry. So let's see what they've got, shall we? Um I've already had a little look and it is, I tell you what, the menu at Wedderspoon is pretty good actually. The Indians are really good as well. I thought about getting an Indian, uh, but I'm going to go for the all day brunch. Yeah, I'm going to go for the all day brunch. Two fried eggs, bacon, two Lincolnshire sausages, baked beans and chips. So I'm going to go for the all day brunch. Let's see what that's like, shall we? Well, it is pretty big, this weather spoons, you know, and there's no upstairs to it. Well, actually, there is an upstairs. Uh, they've got the toilets upstairs, haven't they? Typical weather spoons. Okay, now I've just ordered my all-day brunch on the app. I find it so much easier ordering on the app. And uh, something else about weather spoons is so quick at bringing in your food, aren't they? They usually bring it within about 10 minutes. And that came to £11.06 for the all-day breakfast and a hot drink. I'm not going to be drinking any beer in this video. I'm just going to have a tea or something like that. So uh, let's see how long it takes. Well, the coffee mug is all right. That only took about two minutes. So that was pretty quick. So I just got myself a coffee. And you know Weatherspoons, they've got a bit of a, a reputation for being a bit common, haven't they? But I tell you what, some pretty posh looking people in here, yeah. Yeah, well, we are in St. Arms, aren't we? Hmm. Well, it's arrived. Look at this. The all day brunch. Look at that. I've got chips. I've got two Lincolnshire sausages, bacon. I've got egg under here. Two eggs. I got beans, of course, and I also ordered the um, the black pudding as an extra. So there you go. That came pretty quick, you know. Oh yeah, only took eight minutes. So I think it's time to chuck into this now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm hungry. I didn't have my tea today, so uh, uh, let's get eating. Ah, oh, check it out. Oh, don't you hate these? bloody packets to give you HP sauce oh, get some of that on there at least they do the tomato sauce in the in the bottles I'm not sure if that's going to be enough but there we go I hope you don't mind but I put salt on before the, the vinegar on the chips but uh, yeah it's looking pretty good this so here we go Well, that went down pretty well. Yeah, that was really, really good, that. And uh, <clears throat> just have a bit of a drink of coffee uh, to wash it down. And I tell you what, it's not that busy in here at the moment, but it's proper noisy. Can you hear all this chunnering going on? Wow. It's amazing. They don't have music, do they, in Wethersfield? Well, not all of them. Funny enough, you know the one in Blackpool, the Leighton Rakes on Market Street? They sometimes play music in there at the weekends and it's one of the very rare weather spoons that actually plays music but most of them, they don't play music. All you can hear is the chunnering of loads of people. So there you go, I am now leaving the weather spoons, the troll boat in here in St Anne's and I'm just heading out the front door now. I started this video in the light and the dry and I've come out now to this. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, it would have made a massive difference if I had filmed this video on a nice sunny day, wouldn't it? But I'm not like that on this channel, am I? I like to do things a little bit different. So there you go, that was St. Anne's. Uh, I'm now in the rain. Uh, there you go. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. Oh my goodness.